Hi, I'm Ashley from The Loopy Lamb, and thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about this book, A Beginner's Guide to Tunisian Crochet by Emma Guest. Now, in this book, you'll find 10 crochet patterns for you and your home. And they are um, varied in terms of what you could be making. So there's a wall hanging, there's a basket, there's a scarf, some bags, a blanket, and some fingerless gloves. So um, lots of fun different color changes and different kinds of projects that you could give it a try. And definitely accessible for beginners. Now, full disclosure, when I had the opportunity to review this book, I had only maybe tried Tunisian crochet a couple of times unsuccessfully. So I figured who better than to check to see if this book's book is accessible to beginners than a beginner. So I picked up the book and did what I have seen many beginners do before because I've done it myself and I skipped right past that beginners stitch section or the resource section and went straight to the projects because I had my eye on creating a basket. So I read through the pattern, grabbed my hook and yarn and got started. So I will say I don't recommend doing this for anybody, but I did do it. And so within, I'd say from start to finish, maybe th three hours, I had myself my own little basket. So it was really that clear, really straightforward and simple. And this is my first completed Tunisian project that I actually finished and and was ha very happy with. So um, what I did is I read the pattern and every time I found something, which was often, that I didn't uh, fully know or understand, I flipped back to the resource section, found what I needed, learned what I needed to do, and then implemented it in my project. So, uh, like I said, so clear that I was able to get a, a full basket from beginning to end in about three, four hours. Now, um, again, I wouldn't recommend that, but um, it is possible. So what I did is after the the finishing of my basket, I went back, I read the resource section in full, and feel very confident in my Tunisian skills now. Um, the beginning stitches and techniques are all covered with step-by-step -step photos, which are exceedingly clear and incredibly helpful. There is a bit of a mini stitch dictionary for some more complex Tunisian stitches. They do not have the photos included, but I think if you read the basic section like I did, you don't really need those photos because I felt um, I did, they just weren't needed once I read that beginner section and then moved on to the more complex things. So um, really well done, very accessible. If you are a beginner, uh, I really recommend that this you tr give this resource a try. It, it was fantastic and uh, pardon the pun, but she's got me hooked on Tunisian crochet now. And I'll definitely be doing many more projects with it in the future. So um, thanks to Search Press, I have a copy of this book to give away to one lucky winner. And if you are interested in winning a copy, you can do so by heading on over to my blog, theloopylamb.com. I'll make sure to link to that in the description box below. And there you'll find the written version of this review, as well as the full giveaway details and the entry form. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you've tried this book or um, have any suggestions for new Tunisian projects I could start next, please let me know. I do love to hear from you. And be if you enjoyed that this video, please uh, hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Happy hooking, and I'll see you next time.